What's up guys? Uh, we are back, finally, on YouTube. Um, hopefully we'll stay, who knows? Can't guarantee anything, nor will I make a promise, because I normally don't keep it. So, um, what we are doing today though, is we are releasing a new program. Um, it's called HS6, and today we are doing week one, day one, and that is a lower body workout. So, um, what we're gonna start with is gonna be a primer movement, uh, which is someone is now on, um, and someone's also in the squat rack. So, we're starting with the primer movement, um, which is going to be a lay extension. And if you guys don't know what primer movements are, um, I'm going to link an article I just wrote in the description box. Go check it out. Um, and it's going to explain everything for you. Uh, and I've also made several posts on Instagram about it, so I don't feel like I need to explain it. Um, and then the primer movement, we're just doing as many sets as needed. So on your program sheet, you're going to see A-M-A-N, which just means as many as needed. So. Um, you know, it could be three or four sets, um, eight to 10 reps. And sometimes it takes me three sets, sometimes it takes me five. So um, do that at your discretion. And uh, after the prior movement, we are gonna move on to back squat, but currently there are people doing all of, or they're in all the racks at the moment. So um, we might replace that with, hack, with a hack squat. I'm not quite sure yet, uh, but you guys will obviously see if we do. Uh, but without further ado, we're gonna get after it. six today uh, it's gonna be 65 percent I haven't squatted in a while especially a max effort so um, it's, it's, it is three sets of six 65 percent so I'm going to estimate that at um, 425 so 65 percent of 425 is uh, 275 so that's gonna be my working weight today so we're gonna work up to that and uh, see how it goes in your sheet you will see a link towards a video that talks about active range of motion um, and that's a huge thing in this program um, and also utilizing tempo if you guys have already read hopefully um, or will read in the in the program so the tempo for today is going to be a three it's a three second eccentric um, so we are going to stay true to that um, but we don't want to just drop down um, that is the point of the tempo to keep tension on our quad um, and hamstrings and glutes however you however you do squat keep tension on that so um, we want to keep in the active range though so um, we want to stay in that range where we keep those muscles activated the whole time so there's never this point of like just dropping or um, trying to pop up out of the hole or anything like that yeah. yes this is a strength program but it's also hypertrophy um, so you know chances are you're not going using this to go into a meet um, a powerlifting meet which is really not designed for that so probably shouldn't do it um, but it is a great general program so uh, it's just the, a huge tip going into the squat session is to stay in that active range all right I'm gonna show you guys a clip of my previous set right here um, so you deaf police out there are going to get after me a little bit um, but again I'm staying in my active range uh, that's exactly where I keep tension and my quadriceps, my hamstrings, and my glutes um, the most. So that's where I'm gonna stay. Um, I'm not a power lifter, therefore I do not need to reach a certain depth now. Uh, you know, that's within reason, uh, but get down to a depth where you feel good and you're keeping tension, uh, and that's a good depth for you. So next set I'm gonna try to hold my pause a little longer to um, keep my prescribed tempo that I prescribe. Um, so, uh, hopefully this next set goes a little better.
so our next movement is the Romanian deadlift. So um, it's loud over there where the bar is, so I'm not gonna do it over there. Um, so I'm gonna demonstrate here a couple very simple cues that we're gonna, that we're gonna master here. So um, you're going to have the bar here, but we're gonna forget about the bar. Um, the only thing we're gonna worry about is pushing our hips back to where our hamstrings are fully, fully lengthened. Um, you can feel a full stretch in your hamstrings. And then all you're gonna do is extend your hips back into the bar. So push your hips back, push your hips back into the bar forward. Um, two very, very simple cues that we're gonna master here. Um, when you're at that lengthened position uh, at the bottom, we are going to contract our hamstrings first to initiate the movement. So uh, I guess there's three cues, but there you go. The next movement is going to be the split squat. Um, very simple movement, just you need to find where you need to be first. It's kind of hard um, where your lead foot should be, so just find that first. Uh, the key execution point here is going to be to drive that knee forward, track the knee forward, and then just extend it back. Um, very simple movement. Uh, so grab the dumbbells and uh, we'll get out. movement is thought to be a very simple movement uh, by most, uh, but this is probably one of the most difficult on the program. Uh, there are a host of execution points that I'm going to talk about here, so uh, really pay attention. Um, so the first one is going to be just to make sure you have this uh, leg piece in the right place. Uh, you want it to fall kind of right above your uh, shoe line, uh, kind of on that Achilles, um, or right above the Achilles. Uh, the next point is going to be just to get yourself set up, uh, especially your lower half first. So we're going to get locked in here. Uh, we're going to get settled. I like to get this part of my body set first um, and really be able to drive my quad into this pad here. Um, that's going to be a huge, uh, huge force production for us. So can't do that. Can't drive your quad into this pad. You need to change up the way you're, you're laying. So. Um, next, we're going to flare our lats. So, however you need to think about that, um, if you're not a bodybuilder, um, just contract these things. Uh, that's the best thing I can, I can tell you. So, um, contract your lats, flare your lats out, um, get stabilization, and the next thing is just gonna be to bring your sternum down to your pelvis. So, flare your lats, bring your sternum down to pelvis, um, and just lock yourself in there. And then we're just gonna perform a rep. One last thing, when you're at the top of the movement, um, that squeeze at the top, that two second hold, you're not just holding the weight there, you're squeezing, that's an isometric contraction. So you're squeezing the muscle as hard as you possibly can at the top, and then releasing on the way back down. into the pad, you want to um, make sure that you're also pulling yourself in 
to um, the handles. I know everyone's is not set up this way, but uh, you want to drive your elbows and your hands into this to uh, equal the force that you're giving while driving your quads into the pad. If you guys can hear me, it is very loud in here. I have two main cues for you um, performing the standing calf raise. One, while you're getting in the lengthened position, make sure to keep tension on the calf. I don't want, we don't want you to fall past that point when you're losing tension. Um, and then the other point is going to be when you're going to the short position, make sure that you're driving the ankle forward um, to reach that peak contraction.